Chessy System Steam Special was arguably the most successful steam excursion train in railroad history. In 1977, William F. Howes, who was in charge of the passenger operations for the Chessy System, had the chance to sit down with Ross Rowland, who was a popular figure in railroad preservation projects. Together, the two developed a plan to help celebrate the sesquicentennial of America's first railroad. Rowland had just finished his bicentennial project with the T1 American Freedom Train. Rowland had a functional steam engine on his hands, and Howes believed they could use that engine to pull a sesquicentennial excursion celebrating the 115th anniversary of America's first railroad, the BNL. The Chessy system took on the job of celebrating the 115th anniversary because the Chessy system was the largest branch of the BNO at the time. Once Howes and Rowland developed a plan, they presented it to the Chessy system board. There was some doubt about the approval of this plan. During this time, lots of railroads were filing for bankruptcy or merging with other railroads. We are definitely not looking at Penn Central here. Nonetheless, the plan was approved and the project began. Chessy System made its debut in May of 1977. Throughout 1977, the Chessy System Steam Special carried out a total of 46 successful tours. During these tours, a total of 20,000 rode on this astounding train and hundreds watched it roar past them at trackside. The first season of the Chessy System Steam Special was so successful, a second season was planned. Before the second season, the yellow, orange, and blue T1 got a complete overhaul. In the second season, the T1 was now pulling over two dozen cars. There was no way you were going to mistake this engine passing by. Once the steam special returned to the tracks in April of 1978, the excursion train captured the attention of everyone. This excursion was so popular that tickets were sold out, attracting rail fans from across the nation. The steam special continued to run until 1979. This engine was in the wrong place at the wrong time because in 1979, this engine was involved in a roundhouse fire, significantly damaging the engine. If this engine wasn't involved in that fire, how much longer could it have run? Could we still be able to visit it today? Even ride it? It definitely makes you wonder since this excursion had lots of success. After the fire, the 2101 was repainted to its original number one Freedom Train paint scheme. This engine is currently housed at the BNO Railroad Museum. The 2101's tender was saved as well. It was restored and partnered with the Reading 2100. The Reading 2100 and the original 2101's tender now both reside in Richland, Washington. Despite the unfortunate roundhouse fire, the Chessy System Steam Special was perhaps one of the most successful excursion runs in railroad history. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that historical series mini documentary. I kind of spiced up the editing a little bit, tried to make it different, tried to make it fun. So I hope you enjoyed that little show. But now let's go ahead and get eye level with the actual NPC era set that was put out by Lionel painted in the Chessy System paint scheme. It's just your pretty basic NPC era steam engine. This is actually a 284 wheel combination. Now obviously this is not a reading T1 wheel combination, but it's probably the closest thing Lionel had at the time. So what's really cool and what I personally like about this particular engine, now most of all of the NPC era sets, the engines are basically the same. But this one's pretty cool and I actually like this paint scheme because it's mostly a black steam engine. And you have this little yellow stripe that kind of continues all the way down the engine. It reaches to the cab, it merges with the orange, and then it merges into the Chessy system on the tender, and then it continues throughout the entire passenger car contest, which is really cool. It's just kind of like one blending paint scheme coming together, which is really cool. And actually, the real Chessy system steam special also had a pretty similar paint scheme going on. Moving on to the passenger cars, there's not much going on here. Nothing too fancy, pretty basic. You got a mainly yellow bodied passenger car with a little bit of orange and 
dark blue, and then a gray roof. Pretty standard basic colors, and it looks like the real passenger cars that were with the Chessy Steam Special. There's only one minor detail on all of these passenger cars that I wanted to point out, and it's the Chessy Steam Special logo. They're on every single car, and the observation car has a deck, obviously, and there is a logo there as well. This engine has quickly become a favorite. I love watching this engine run around the layout, especially with the bright yellow and orange passenger cars passing by the passenger station. These NPC Air sets are actually quickly growing on me. I actually want to try to collect most of them or all of them, and it seems like every other week I learn that there was a new set. I just recently learned that there's a Wabash themed set that was put out around the same time period. It's part of the Fallen Flag series or something like that. So I'll have to look into that one because that's one that has piqued my interest. But there's so many different paint schemes and colors and railroads of these passenger sets. So I want to try to, in the future, collect most or if not all of these sets. Alright guys, that's it for the historical mini-series episode on the Chessy Systems Team Special. We looked into the history of the real thing today, and we took a quick look into the model train set that was put out by Lionel around the same time the real engine was running. So again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see all of my viewers in my next video. Take care everybody!